Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here. Going to be talking about the layers in the Rain 62. What do you mean? Well, as you know, we just have cue points. And then if you switch between cue and samples, then you have three of the sample decks. And then you can switch between the four pages. Um, and that's also because it was made for Scratch Live before there were eight sample decks but what you may not know is that if you hold down this button then all of these turn orange why is that because you have one two three four five layers and then you'll see that even this says l5 because i've made it over to the fifth layer now when you start like say if i'm on the fifth layer which i haven't mapped to anything it will go back and then you'll see it's by default triggering the cue points. What I've done is um, on page two basically is now I can, and this is a great song for this because it's got so many different samples. And this is a great song and this is David Porter, The Masquerade, and this is a great uh, version to show. So for s layer two, since it's L2, layer two, I have saved loops. So <laughs> You know what that is. And then this last one was, I don't know if you remember, a Funk Flex mixtape. Uh, something bomb with a song uh, with LL Cool J on it. Used this last sample. Sounds like Cisco. So then on, on scene three... Um, I believe I have my flips. So you can see it says flip one, so we'll do flip one. Oh, it's still in the loop. Well, that's interesting. So if you're still in a loop, you can't get out of that loop to go to a flip. Look at that. Interesting. Right, so let's get out of this loop. No, I'm not in that loop. Now nah, let's go to the flips. Nothing amazing, just demonstrating the flip. And then now I've also, let's go back to one where the cue points are. I've set this up as the ability to launch the flip. So I can go into that fifth one and then actually create a new one. So while this one's going. save it you know you don't have to do this I just happen to do that just to show it since we have only one screen here but this is going to save the flip so it'll take up that last fifth spot you see it says flip five and if I go back to three and keep on triggering that and if I need to I have this to turn it off and then it just goes back to the regular track Interesting. Weird how the flip and the loop kind of work together or not. So that's loot. The other part that I used was to go into layer four, and then you have clear, set, and clear. I'm sorry. So let's uh, go over here, take that loop off, and let's say we wanted um, that. Let's say we wanted that part right at the end of the loop right here. 
And so we figured out that that's going to be like the one. But you can see there's nothing on the grid marker. So on these, I have it as a um, set clear. And then if I need to move it back and forth, you can see that moves that beat marker, grid marker, back and forth. Um, uh, so let's just do clear and right there, set. And then everything's fine. If I needed to, I could go back in that way. I don't need to. So oh, what happened? Phase? I got phase over on this other side. That doesn't matter. So set, clear, adjust once you've set. Once you've set, then you use these two for adjusting. And then just in case you needed to, this last one would open up edit grid and close it just technically don't need to open that that's for the physical GUI interface as far as buttons go that doesn't need to be open in order for me to set and delete um, grid markers word that was pretty interesting so this has been DJ Divine Justice just showing you what you may not have known about the 62, which is that it has five layers that you can MIDI map. And the last thing is that in order to make sure you can MIDI map them, you just have to go into Serato and MIDI. Sorry, not that MIDI yet. Serato and MIDI. And then when you select on 62, you have to make sure that allow Serato hardware remapping is checked. Then you can close this out and then when you go into MIDI you'll see that brings up a whole lot of extra things so don't think that you can't that you can only MIDI map what you can see normally when you open up the MIDI tab it opens up a lot more options sweet so as usual practice and enjoy your boy DJ Divine Justice signing off